Hey everyone, hey. this is Movie Pillow Fights with Erica. Hey, hey Erica. Oh. So guys, uh, here's what Movie Pillow Fights is. Uh, each week, Stacy and I and Erica this week fight or talk or just, you know, do something with a question from Twitter. Although this week's question is not from Twitter. No. But these are movie questions that we answer. And yeah, we have a podcast called Six Degrees of Feature Film. You should check it out. Erica's on our show this week. Yeah, yeah it was super fun. Whoa, it was some Tarantino movies. Super excited about that. Yeah, about the violence. <laughs> so, what is our question this week? Stacey? Our question this week is: I mean, everyone's been you know on a Netflix binge watch recently. I feel like so. What's the last thing that you guys watched on Netflix? Movie, TV show, whatever it was. Whatever you want it to be. So we last night watched Hellraiser. Yay! Yeah. There's a show called Required Viewing, and it is on Geek and Sundry's Twitch channel on Tuesday nights, starting at eight o'clock, hosted by Cameron Rice, Whitney, Whitney, Whitney Moore, and, and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hayhurst. Woo. And so they 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 pick a movie and. Uh, on Netflix, available on Netflix, and then everybody can watch it together and uh, chat, can sync up the movie with them and watch it in their own homes while watching them watch the movie and right. like, do like so commentary fun. about it. It's fun. super fun, except when we're watching Hellraiser and I'm very scared. Erica was very scared. It was, I was entertained by that. Um, Sorry, and you had like a. <laughs> you, fun with she had like this scared. little this pillow. I have like an show octopus? my what was stuffed that? octopus uh, okay. who who accompanies me when I have to play horror games. Uh, okay, so okay. I hid behind show for a lot of things. That yeah. movie is really very gory and and scary. And and I know a lot of yes. folks might not think that, that that is true since it is an older film. But Hellraiser, it is was scary, classic yeah. horror at its finest and its goriest. But at least we were all together. Mm -hmm. We were all together, and there were some good gifts that came out of out of that uh, nice. session. Nice. <laughs> That's all good. They're pretty Recoiling great. in horror. Here's my face. And me. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, it was great. It was great. Oh, I love it. That's the other fun. thing that I watched, um, aside from that, is The Little Prince. Have you guys seen The Little Prince? No, I keep <gasps> hearing about oh, it. Oh, so good. It's I'm uh. Scared to watch oh no. It. Oh yeah. It it plays with your heartstrings. Very. It oh. tugs all the heartstrings. Really? Um, oh, but it is, it, it's delightful and it's sad. My daughter was sad. Um, it's, um, it was very well done, very well made animation and it's a Netflix original, you know, well, original in terms of like they made it themselves. Oh. So yeah, there it is. It was great. I recommend it. Little Prince. Cool. The last thing I watched on Netflix was I finally finished binge watching Stranger Things. Yeah. What everyone is talking about. Everyone's so hyped. Everyone probably needs to take a chill pill about, but not really because <laughs> it's amazing. So don't chill about it. Keep talking about it. Uh, very much a homage and a love letter to all the great horror films of the mm -hmm. 80s, 70s and 80s. Um, and and a that, love letter to egos. And a love letter yeah. to egos. <laughs> Hello, 90s kids. Lego my ego. Who doesn't love a good ego waffle? Come on. On. I got it's, some in my freezer right now, guys. The best. And also, remember Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Or not the, not the cereal. Um, the we got those, too. We and then got like those. The four, and you break it up a little <laughs> oh, bit. Oh, those are so good. Very easily shareable. Smooth, buttery. Um, mm, oh, God. And I remember me and my brother used to fight over them. But my, so my mom loved those because you could divide it up evenly in the uh -huh. parts. And so I got half. I got two of the little squares. He got two of the squares. No one fought. Let go of my ego, though. So yeah, I, I have perfect. two other sisters. Splitting things oh. like that was a little more difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's That's, hard to split me things. Too. Do more math. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we weren't we weren't the best at math in our family, so it was pretty easy to split it in two. It, it was pretty fair. Um, but yeah, so so incredibly well made. Um, a lot of the ideas, the moments, some of the shots are you know very much. Um, taken from other films and inspired by other films so it's not a super original concept but it's so well executed that it's just it's perfection it's so much fun to watch you just are just you're all washed in nostalgia uh as you <laughs> as you witness everything in it it's so incredible the kids the kids yes. are the best yeah. part to, to be honest with you i feel like it's almost an anachronistic view of 80s films because it mm -hmm. just like 
it, it, all of the stuff that feels very dated when we go back and watch those films has been cut out mm -hmm. from it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, women have better roles in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and you know, the cinema, uh, the, the, the shots, like, it was, uh, I'm sure, a little easier for them to recreate some of the shots just due to the technology that we have available mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. days. Uh, and and the story was really really very tight, so yeah. yeah. You guys got to look up that above. There's like yeah. a great I think it's Vime on Vimeo where it's like um, Stranger Things influences. If you Google Stranger Things influences and you click video, it'll come up and it'll do side by side of Stranger Things and what has influenced mm -hmm. certain yeah. um, certain shots. And it's great. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's like five, six minutes long. It's the best. That's perfect. That's, that's the perfect amount of um, time for my attention span. Me so, too. Five to six minutes. And yes. this show. You got me hooked. So yeah. where can we find you, Stacey? You can find me on Twitter <laughs> at SOHoward2012, tweeting about movies all day. Where can we find you, Erica? I'm at Samurai Erica on Twitter, S-A-M-U-R-A-I-E-R-I-K-A, -E uh, and Geek and Sundry's Twitch channel Wednesdays and Fridays. You can find me all day, every day on Twitter at Miss Movies. So there it is. Yay. There it is. We will see you next time. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Stop it. <laughs> it's not stopping. Stop. Okay. <laughs>